You're watching my CDL buddy, and I'm your host. Today I'm going to show you how to uncouple and couple a Class A tractor trailer. We're going to start with the uncoupling of the vehicles first. Let's get started. First, we're going to move down to the landing gear part of the trailer. We're going to look at the landing gear, make sure everything's intact, not broken, on secure. Then we're going to drop the legs so we could uncouple the trailer safely. Everything on the landing gear looks great. All the items are there. Now I'm gonna put on my gloves to drop the legs. When you drop the legs, be careful you don't hit yourself with the bar while you're pivoting in the proper motion. As the legs go down, you want to make sure both legs are going down at the same time at the same exact level. You're going to stop when the bases of the legs are about one to two inches away from the floor. They look pretty good to me. I'm going to stow away the bar where my landing gear is and move down to the fifth wheel area to pull out the release arm so my locking jaws could release my kingpin. That's my next step. Grab my release arm, pull it out. Be careful while, while you do this. And you're going to go under the trailer carefully and safely to see if the locking jaws released the kingpin. They sure did. The kingpin is free. My next step is going to be to go by my air lines and my electrical line. I got to uncouple them from the trailer and stow them away safely on the tractor side. Let's do that now. Got to get up here safely, grab the handlebars. First, I'm going to start with my service line. It's the furthest thing away from me, so I'm going to do that so I don't tangle the lines. I'm going to stow it away in the proper site on the tractor. Then I'm going to take out my electrical line, the green one, stow that away. And finally, I'll take out my emergency service brake line, the red one, and stow that away properly. Once I'm done with that, I have to get down safely. Got to be really careful. Get down the way you got up, backwards. Now I'm going to go in the tractor. Start the engine and pull away safely and slowly from the trailer to disconnect, to actually uncouple the vehicles. So, Before I get in, I'm going to take off my gloves to keep my truck clean. Always do this as a professional driver. I'm going to use three points of contact. We want to get up safely into our vehicle each and every time. Once I'm in the vehicle, I want to start my engine. So I'm going to do that now. I started my engine. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to put my vehicle in gear or into drive, release my tractor parking brake, and disconnect from the trailer. Put my foot on the service brake, put it in drive, Release my tractor parking brake. Now we're going to accelerate very slowly, not too fast. The trailer and tractor have successfully disconnected. I'll put the vehicle in neutral, pull out the parking brake. Now we're going to attempt to connect the trailer and tractor together. I will be getting out of the vehicle to show you what we need to check. We have to get out safely with three points of contact each and every time. Do not forget that. First thing I'm going to check is my landing gear. 
So if I pulled up to a new trailer I've never seen before or haven't used for a while, got to make sure the trailer is safe to use. So first I want to check my landing gear, make sure everything is working, everything's secure, nothing's broken or cracked. And I'm going to go up to my trailer's apron area to check my apron and my kingpin. Everything looks great. All right, so I'm going to get in the truck and what I want to do, I want to back into the trailer so my locking jaws could grasp, grasp around the kingpin. Once I do that, we'll talk about the next steps to finalize the coupling of the vehicles. So let's do that now. Get into the vehicle, same way, three points of contact. Now we're in the truck. I'm going to start the vehicle. The engine is running. Put my foot on the service brake, put the vehicle in reverse, release the parking brake, and slowly back into my trailer. You don't want to go too fast, otherwise you're going to damage the kingpin or the locking jaws or fifth wheel. Once you hear that noise where the locking jaw clicks into the kingpin, you would think you're coupled. But to make sure, you want to put your vehicle into drive with your trailer brake out, obviously, because it's not connected, and do a tug test on the trailer. All right, I'm hitting the accelerator. The tractor is not moving. The trailer is holding us back. That means we're successfully coupled. So I'll put the vehicle in neutral pull out the tractor parking brake, get outside, and we're going to couple the vehicle together properly. I'll keep mentioning it, three points of contact. Safety is always first in the trucking industry. So first thing I want to do, I want to make sure everything's coupled properly. I'm going to check my fifth wheel area, make sure my release arm has locked into place. My locking jaws, they're locked around the kingpin. Once I know that for sure, I'm going to raise my landing gear, connect my airlines and my electrical line. I'll put on my gloves to do that. So let's go there and check it out. All right. Go under here, we're gonna make sure the release arm is in locked position, it is, it's pushed in fully. There is no gap or daylight in between my apron and my fifth wheel. I'm gonna get under the truck safely, watching my head, uh, to make sure that the locking jaws and kingpin are secure. All right, the locking jaws are definitely latched around the kingpin. Now we're gonna raise the landing gear up. Same thing, when we raise our landing gear, you want to make sure that the landing gear goes up at the same level at the same time on both legs and everything works properly. Once that is done, you want to lock away the landing gear arm so it's sa safely stowed away. Make sure everything went up properly. Everything looks good to me. Now we're going to move down to do the emergency and service airline connections with our glad hands to our trailer and then our electrical line. We're gonna plug that into our trailer too. So let's get started on that. First, we're gonna safely get up on the catwalk. I'm gonna start off with my service line. That's the furthest thing from me. It's the hardest thing to couple. Then my green electrical line, plug it into the trailer. Make sure the safety latch is on properly. Then we're going to go to our emergency service line and then we're going to get down from this area. You could also do this while you're standing on the floor if you're a taller individual or if your setup is a little different. 
I prefer to get up there, so it's up to the driver and the applicant. So now we're going to get into the truck and we're going to do our tug test, release the brakes, make sure everything's fine before we take off and start driving, hit the road. So let's do that. Get into our vehicle safely. We're gonna start our engine. Now we're gonna do a tag test. We're gonna put the vehicle into gear, release the tractor brake, and try to pull away, see if the trailer and the tractor are connected properly. I'm not going anywhere, that means our connection is proper. Now we're gonna test our Johnny bar to make sure that our trailer brakes work. So we're gonna release the trailer brakes. The tractor brake is already released, we're in gear. I'm gonna pull it forward about five to 10 feet and test the trailer brakes. All right, I pull down my Johnny bar the trailer brakes do hold and work. That's a successful test. Now I feel safe and confident that we have coupled the tractor and the trailer successfully and I'm ready to hit the road. Put on my seatbelt and take off. Thanks for watching guys.